I've been spending my hard-earned money again. Basically, in a uh, <clears throat> supermarket, which is famous here in the UK, I purchased these two buys from the clearance section. Well, what have we got here? So, we've got an action camera, which is basically a rip-off GoPro. And a micro, small, Bluetooth speaker from Momo Design. Hmm, I've never heard of them either, but I did only give £5 for this speaker, and I think it was about £12 for the camera. So I'm not too bothered about if they are a bit tatty. However, first impressions, the box has got a nice feel to it. That's the design of the speaker. We shall open it soon, folks. Speaker Bluetooth, up to 20 hours music time. That's actually quite impressive for a mobile portable unit. And the transmission distance is 0 to 10 metres. But it doesn't say at the moment if that means if there's any interference, for example, one room to another. And then type C charging cable, not type B. Type B's going out of fashion. And I think it's time to open this up. And this is the first time I've actually opened the unit up as well. Because I don't normally buy new technology that often. I've got to say it. The box feels quite nice again. I don't, I don't know why I keep saying that. But I will Come on. Right. Hmm. Nice little bit of tape here to peel off. Come on. Actually, let's get a knife on this. I hope YouTube doesn't uh, bar me from using this. But I want to preserve it as much as I can for when I try to vlog it back to a retail shop. And that feels like tissue type paper. I'll put you over there. First impressions. Has anyone holded the Apple um, um, speaker? It's got the same type of like weird mesh type design. And I'm going to be fair. That doesn't feel too bad of a quality. I'll be honest. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, we've got the charging port. Yes, type C. It would help if it was the right size up. And that must be some sort of USB type card. That might come in handy, you know. Um, Yeah, first impressions. Quite nice, actually. It's got controls on the front of the speaker. Obviously, that would be plus, minus and play. No stop or anything like that. On the back, it says P510169 input USB 5 amp equals 1. 5 volt equals 1 amp. Made in China. Hmm. Uh, and that was for TCC Global in Amsterdam. Yeah. Let's... Uh, Let's put that to one side and let's see what else is in the box. And we've got USB type C cable, which obviously hasn't been used. And I think that's it. Let's see. Oh, we've got an insert. We've got an insert, folks. Nothing underneath there. Let's read the manual. <clears throat> Momo Design Bluetooth Speaker Use a manual P510169 And that sounds like a stormtrooper out of Star Wars oh, well. well, it's telling you to get it out the box Which is probably going to happen anyway, folks Because it's in a box to start with However, it has actually got quite clear instructions Sadly, it's in Dutch Let's flip to the English section, shall we? Oh, it's in German, I'm not sure. Hmm. Power off, power on, mode switch, play, pause, track, volume, previous track, charging, slot, micro SD slot. 
so I was right, it has got a micro SD slot. Please read the following instructions and warnings before you use the speaker. Do not use this apparatus near water. So no point in using it in the bath. Do not immunize in liquid. It's not waterproof. Do not store any heat sources such as radiators, heat registers, stoves or other devices including amplifiers that produce heat. So stay away from nuclear fire stations. Uh, do not expose to direct sunlight or wet weather conditions so it's not powered by solar and it's not powered by water do not expose to high immunity high temperatures or mechanical shock um it's freezing here in the uk so i think we should be all right on that one avoid any unnecessary strain on the cables do not dismantle there are no serviceable parts inside so basically when it's broke you throw it away <coughs> e-waste uh for external cleaning use a soft clean damp cloth only and only use the attachments accessories provided okay uh, the warning no sources of naked flames such as lit candles should be placed in the speaker oh yeah i'm just going to uh, randomly uh you know uh put a candle to it uh the speakers not be exposed to excessive levels such as sunshine fire or similar okay you've just said that for ages 12 or up this is not a toy hang on Everything is a toy, though. Uh, do not dismantle or repair the speaker by yourself. Do not try to replace the battery. Dispose the battery in an extreme high temperature surrounding environment that can result in an explosion or the leakage of flammable liquid or glass. The battery is subject to an extremely low air pressure that might result in an explosion or the leakage of flammable liquid or gas. So in other words, it's a nuclear bomb. Boom. And I don't think we need to go through that. It's pretty self-regulatory. Um, the button music functions. Short press to switch the working mode. Long press to power on and off. Ooh, that's actually coming handy. Short press for the next track. Long press for the increase in the volume. Ah, that's not a bad thing. Short press for play, pause, mute. Long press to disconnect the Bluetooth pairing. Short press for previous track. Long press to decrease the volume um let's see if it says anything about connection to a bluetooth speaker but let's first off turn it on it might not come on because like i said i've literally got this out the battery so let's see uh, what it does short press to switch the working mode so short press oh hang on whoa 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 Oh, it's there. Uh, Power on. Oh my. Bluetooth mode. Okay. Um, that's actually quite loud. I'm actually quite impressed with this already, and the review hasn't even happened. Um, let's see. Charging the power. How do we connect it? Ah, uh, the speaker will automatically power off in below cases under bluetooth mode the speaker is waiting to pair for more than 10 minutes use a memory card if speakers pause mute for more than 10 minutes mm, that's that's actually quite a handy little piece of equipment what should i do if the speaker cannot pair with the bluetooth device take it back turn your speaker off then back on again move your speaker and bluetooth device closer together it's static or breaks while playing audio no sound no power unable to operate okay that's pretty much covers everything Let's see if we can actually pair it. Bear with me for one second. Jump cup time. So I've purchased a new handheld gaming console. This is the X12 Plus. It comes with 16G memory and it's a 7 inch large screen games console. Hmm. With Street Fighter logo at the front. I wonder if it'll play Street Fighter. Yes, it does. Does it play any good? No, it doesn't. And on the back of the box, it's the X8. You know what? That sound quality isn't too bad. Not for £5, I'll be honest. I mean, obviously, that's only a very short demonstration. And obviously, due to copyright infringements, I can't exactly go and uh, play, like, music on it. But, yeah. 
it paired up straight away. Obviously, I'm using an iPhone XS Max from the SD year. And the Bluetooth, well, let's hear it again. Okay, let's get this over and done with. And that's the console. Let's pull you out. Put you to one side. And let's see what's in the box. Armable plastic insert. New. You know what? For £5, I kid you not, I am actually generally impressed. I mean, it is what it is. This would be handy, for example, if you were... Like myself, I spend a lot of time in the bathroom when I'm uh, not YouTubing or TikToking. That probably sounds worse than what it is. But in terms of a £5 portable speaker which takes up naffle space, feels actually quite nice in the hand. I've not even charged it. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously it is what it is. It's a portable speaker. Obviously, there's going to be a niche amount of people who's going to be wanting to uh, purchase this. But for £5, and it will actually play audio like this. Headphones, cheap and nasty. Charging cable. Give you a hint, yes, because there's no battery to this unit. Audio and visual cables. You might use them, it might blow up the world. And it says, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I can honestly say I am pleasantly surprised. And in all fairness, for what I purchased this for, I can say this, that will be kept. I'm not going to sell that because I have a use for that. And yeah, that's going to come in handy. Right, that's number one of the uh, video. Let's get the uh, other bits and pieces out the way. But there you go. Momum Design, £5.00. Seems uh, good quality enough, and the most important thing is it Bluetooth's connection connectivity no problem at all, and it doesn't feel that bad of a quality. So yeah, quite happy with that. Let's put you over there. Now I wonder if the camera's going to be any better. <sighs> Come on, focus. Twelve pound for this, which is essentially a GoPro, albeit. A more cheaper one. Two inch screen. 1080p. 12 megapixel. Waterproof case. Recording time is 1.5 hours. Hmm. I haven't purchased a um, GoPro yet. However, I would say this. Let's have a look at this first. Water, what <laughs> Accessories included. Waterproof case. Handlebar mount, helmet mount, bandages, adhesives, and USB A B cable. Memory card not included. Oh, got a sneeze. One second. Sneezing over. Uh, so what we got here? Momo Design is a registered trademark of World Trade Center in Amsterdam. The Bluetooth mark is logos. A blah 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 blah. Was there anything on the back? Um, no, unless you speak Russian, I think that covers it all. And there's a picture of it. Right, let's have a look at this one. Again, the box seems to be quite good quality. I have not even researched this online or anything. This is just literally a blind opening of a camera. Ah, yes. Action camera, user manual, P510171. And let's see. It's going to be... Ooh, what have we got here? We've got huge amounts of accessories. None of which I'm going to be using. Although the helmet one might come in handy. And obviously you've got your on and off button. This is similar 
to a digital camera that I purchased from another um, supermarket many years ago, but it did not last and the picture quality wasn't that great. Um, similar to the uh, Bluetooth speaker. Excuse me. And it's got a two inch LCD display, language options, English, Italian, resolution of videos recorded, video format, video photo format, resolution of the photos, etc, etc, etc. Right, let's have a look at the actual unit. One second, I've got a sneezing fit on me again. Right, let's carry on with this. Let's get this out. Come on. This is not likely to have any charge to it. And you know, when I first had one of these types of cameras, what I did not do is I did not know how to take it all to pieces. So you've got like a little sliding door and then you push it up. There you go. And it pops out. Boom. Doom, doom, doom. Ah. Let's switch you on. Come on. And this is the reason why you don't do bare reviews without charging your said infant said up oh, said devices up first. What was that? It's in little brown packets. Oh, it's the straps. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. That looks like some sort of mount. I'll put you to one side. Let's see what we've got in here. You know what? Never knew how to figure out how to put this in. I assume it's something like maybe that or that. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to uh, stop recording and somehow put this all together. Okay, I will be back as soon as I figure out how to do that. Another plastic brown bag. Oh, it's another USB type C connection. That will come in handy. And then we've got potentially for a bike, maybe. And it's got another little uh, bag to it. Okay, at least you're getting some accessories, unlike Apple products. It seems to only sell the uh, stuff that you are in need of. Let's say a charger and a headphones. Not that you get them no more. These are just all the mountings for the various uh, applications. Right, I think I need to charge all this up and see how it goes regarding picture quality. Be back soon. And this is what it looks like when it's being filmed on the digital camera. As you can tell, it's pixelated, blocky. The audio quality is shocking. It's difficult to hear. Well, if the camera was better, um, at the end of the day, it comes down to two things. If the pitch, if the camera is no good, the picture quality is no good and the audio is no good. That's it. Simple put. So it's time to come to a conclusion of what's being kept and what's being saved. I'm going to be keeping the stereo speaker. That's how big it is next to an iPhone. 10s max so yeah not that big the speaker the bass is a little bit uh, tingy if that makes any sense when it's full volume i've been using the uh, speaker pretty much all day i'm still impressed with it for what it is it would be ideal for example if you was next to a pool, if you was uh, away on holiday and you wanted to get some music going. And obviously the speakers off a phone isn't that great. Um, I will be keeping it. However, 
there is probably better portable um speakers out there bluetooth capable i should say but for five pound you would probably be leaning towards that would be a bit of a push the camera on the other hand no i'll be selling that it's so tingy it's so the audio and visual is not that great um obviously if you are watching this and started to get into youtubing but if you do like an extreme sport or an extreme job and you wear a helmet or for example cyclists could do it mount it on their um, bikes you'd probably be better off just biting the bullet and paying the uh correct amount to get a professional gopro or something in that variant but for 12 pounds if you're starting off you don't want to pay much for equipment okay you could probably get away with it because the case is waterproof so in conclusion that's being kept that's being sold many thanks for watching this unusual video from from myself and there'll be more to come like this in the future See you soon.